So this is the only one he's not giving me the yes. recipe for. It's a uh, chili cheese chili sauce. Cheese chili sauce, yes. It looks it looks so loaded. It's full of rich richness and goodness. So here it is in all its glory, and of course the star of this is our passion fruit iced tea. Passion fruit iced tea. <laughs> so shall we get like you were saying? It's brewed differently. And so it's the cold. We use the cold brewing techniques, cold and brewing. then we get a decoction, which how you have when you're making filter coffee, you get the percolated coffee decoction. Yeah. So we get something like that for tea, but we do it in the refrigerator in the cold environment. And then we get a really sweet liquor. What that does is retarding the extraction, ex accelerates the flavonoids which are present in the tea to come out. And the same 100 ml of the decoction will have many more flavonoids than it will have if you brew it only for five minutes versus 12 hours. So hence it's sweet and it's tasty and it's, and it's actually good for you as well because we brewed it cold and take, took out all the health benefits from it. Lovely. So and cheers. I also love passion. Cheers. This is from our new menu. It came out this season. Oh, I find it just wow. works on every level with the tea. This you is get the super tea. refreshing. Thank you. Okay, it's summer guys and everyone's going to be dying <laughs> in Bangalore because of this, this heat and the best way to beat the heat, I think, is what we have right here. Passion fruit iced tea. So you have a um, variety of them. You have passion fruit and Yes, you have? we have kiwi, cucumber, lychee, orange, mint, mango. We keep changing. We have lattes, we have milkshakes with tea. So we have a whole lot of cold stuff as well. The number one top selling product of Infinity since 15 years. Wow. We are very proud of it and it makes us feel really happy and satisfied. And it's just the most wondrous treat to have during winters and monsoons because it just uh, yeah, satisfies you at each and every level. Right, and goes perfectly well with the snack we have here, yes. which In, is samosas. Yeah, you can be a little evil with it and just like smash it into bits. Mm. You don't have to eat I think it I'm just going to bite right into it. Okay, so it'll be hot, huh? So it's because. Oh, yeah, oh okay. Hence, this is the safer way. <laughs> That's why you said you <laughs> So as I a young child... I will take my chances and let it maybe cool off just a little. Well, you can just have a small, tiny little bite. Yeah, meanwhile... Because <laughs> <laughs> as a child, we wouldn't be able to resist and we would have yeah, hot samosa and the steam would go into the mouth. And yeah, it wasn't pleasant. <laughs> Great memories though. Yes, always. Have you ever stolen snacks yes. from your kitchen? From this one or my mother's? <laughs> mother. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> mother's. Yeah, of course, in the night, once the parents are asleep, who doesn't raid the fridge? <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheers. Oh my god. So rich. Yes. Creamy, luxurious, mm. like this. Yeah. That's the way it should be, actually. Watered Smells down masala so tea is not good. Cheers again. Yes. To great cheers. memories. <laughs> I'm going to dip it in the mayo sauce. Yes, please feel free. We are a very homely restaurant. Short grass pastry. Actually. So when you put well, so much fat in flour, it becomes short grass, and then when you bake it or fry it, it becomes a biscuit like this. Yeah. That's wrapped around the potatoes, food everything. Absolutely. The spices in there, it's, it's great. I'm gonna try it with the tamarind sauce now. Yes, you must. It's yeah, another match made in heaven. <laughs> It's like we travelled a few countries and came back to India. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> well, yeah, like you can take a tour of the whole world right here at Infinity because we have food from all over the world, we have teas from all over the world. 
So when people ask me where are you going this summer, I said I'm going to Paris and Italy because the new dishes on the menu are all coming from there. <laughs> and I don't really need to travel much as I can't since I have to cook. If I be traveling, then who will be cooking? So I travel in my mind with all my food and my dishes. And that's what you're doing to people too, taking people places right here in Bangalore. <laughs> Without paying the airfare. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Cheers to that. Cheers. So you can see we've got a lot of people walking in. It's pretty late in the evening and there's still a lot of people coming in for the amazing food and the lovely team here. So uh, it's, it's so it's really cool. I'm gonna like take a few. You're gonna see the menu. And when you open the menu, what you see right here is what Alice missed at the Mad Hatter's party tea party. <laughs> That's what you find in here. It's an absolute wonderland of teas and um, of course you'll get to see it yourself right now <laughs> and at the end of this you this is a must read if you come here and then at the end it says and oh yes don't forget the tea Alice wouldn't <laughs> this is so cool I've had a delightful time like I think I've gone back in time and then come back again and then gone back again <laughs> You've really done this wonderful thing. So it's like a tea time travel that we've had. So I really feel like Alice in Wonderland right now. So thank you so much, Kaurav, for a fabulous episode. And I would really highly recommend all of you out there to hit infinity right now. Thank you very See much. You. God bless. Thank you so much.